Okay. The battery on the camera is incredibly low. So that's not going to last long. But hey, it lasts as long as it lasts. I have been a BSPWM user for quite a while now, maybe about a year. Um, the thing about BSPWM is it doesn't come with a panel. Um, now I've never, I've never tried using a panel with it. I think actually I might have tried lemon bar briefly at one point and then given up. Um, I don't feel like I really need a panel, but I've been using this window manager for so long now. I feel like I ought to try it. So um, I'm gonna log into BSPWM now. Goodbye GNOME. Uh, Oh, I think I've locked it by mistake. Okay, it's a good start, good start. Yeah, I haven't logged into BSPWM for a couple of weeks maybe. I've been using GNOME more recently. But everything's still here, just as I left it. Oh no, I've got that strange bug where Xterm takes a couple of seconds to load up. Why is that happening? Oh, I hate this. Oh my god, w what did I do? Why, what did I do to cause this? Okay, you know what? I don't need Xterm. I've got Emacs. So I think... I think I'm gonna try... Well, there's Lemon Bar. I know of Polybar. And... That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Let's try... Let's try Lemon Bar. Because I think that comes bundled with packaged with BSPWM, right? So USR share doc BSPWM. Here it is. Um, panel. Here we go. Um, okay. Uh, XTO. Gosh, do I have that? Yeah. Well. Yeah, lemon bar. There it is. So this uses lemon bar. Now I don't have lemon bar, do I? I do. Ah, okay. Is that because it recommends? Okay. Yeah, so the BSPWM package for Debian has lemon bar in its recommended list. I already have it installed. The question is how to use it. Let's just try using the default panel here. There's not a lot of explanation. Maybe in the readme? Um, bar. Panel. No, no mention of that. Alright, let's just... Uh, well, I know about that. Ah, profile. Ah, so I think this will go in my home slash dot profile file. So that's setting some environment variables, panel FIFO, panel height, panel font. Oh, okay, I think my camera died. Just gonna press on. Okay, so it's exporting a bunch of env environment variables. Just gonna write it that way. Sample panel for lemon bar. That sources panel colors, which is just sets a bunch of environment variables. Panel. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm just kind of guessing. Maybe I need to look this up. I guess I just run this, right? Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. So this, right. So it, this is telling me that inside of my BSPWM startup script. I need to add, let's add it here, pgrep, exactly the word panel. So we're looking for a process called panel. And if it's not running, then we run it in the background. Okay, so now when I log in, that should begin to run. But instead of logging out and logging back in to test that, I'm just going to run it directly. Now it looks like, based on this, I'll have to have the panel script in my path. So I will just copy that over. 
uh, I guess all these, all three. Let's just copy all three of those into my home slash bin folder. So they're now all here. So if I run panel, panel is already running it, it says. Hmm. Under what condition does it say that? It's looking for, it's doing XDO. Or maybe I need to source my, uh, Okay. Let's source my profile file and then do panel. Ah, oh, so it's looking for clocks and. Ah, oh, here it is! It's looking for clock and X title, which I don't have available as commands. I'm not sure what either of them do, really. Ah, okay. Oh, look! I can click things. Ah, okay. So this is pre-configured nicely out of the box. There's nothing on the right hand side. I don't know what is I, I don't know what I was expecting really. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That wasn't too difficult. So you install BSPWM, you set up your startup script as normal that's located in home slash dot config slash bspwm slash bspwmrc you do all your normal rules and bsp config stuff bspc monitor all that good stuff simple x hockey daemon you know, start that up and then it's just a case of adding this line so that when you log in and this script is run it starts the panel and you just need to have panel be in your path just need to copy that script from slash usr slash share slash doc slash bspwm slash example slash panel slash panel and it, I think you need panel colors as well because this source is panel colors so that has to be in your path as well yeah you copy I don't know I don't know about panel underscore bar but you copy panel and panel colors See, panel underscore bar. Oh yeah, yeah, you need that as well. So all three of these, panel, panel underscore bar, and panel underscore colors, you need to copy all three of those into your path. And this line in your BSPWMRC. And then you have this very basic panel. This kind of reminds me of DWM, how you've got, you've got the nine or 10 or how many workspaces can click to switch between them and then there's this this icon here with an M telling me that it's I, surely that would mean monocle mode but I'm actually in I'm in tiled mode so I'm not sure what that's trying to tell me I don't understand why I have to have environment variables in my profile when I could just set them in this script yeah so they're all being used in here so I might as well I mean I don't know if this is wise, but why not just do that, right? Subscribe. There's a subscribe command. Panel underscore bar. What's this doing? And where is that used? Okay, so that's piped into lemon bar. So this panel underscore bar script, I think, is instructing lemon bar on what to show. We, what's this clock thing? An X title? Right, I can install X title. Let's see if clock is a thing. No, unable to locate package clock. Well, I can get X title. And I can run the panel again. Ah, X title is complaining about an unknown option, dash SF. What's that supposed to do? Yeah, I don't have anything like that. That's strange that, that would they're misusing X title, or there's some kind of version mismatch or something. Hmm. And this clock, I don't know where this clock binary is supposed to be. Well, I don't know what package provides this clock binary. Well, I mean, we have a basic panel working. Like, it works. It doesn't do much, but it, it works. It tells me what workspace I'm on. It allows me to click the buttons for each workspace. Um, 
does this T mean tiled? Ah, oh, I know why that says M there. That says M because I have a setting with BSPWM where if I only have one window open on a given workspace, then it automatically puts it in monocle mode, and that's to get rid of borders so that it takes up the entire screen. Which, by the way, is why I like not having a panel, because once you remove all your windows except for the, the last one on that workspace, on that desktop, there's nothing else taking up space on the screen, so, so you can have this monocle mode where there's no borders, there's no gaps, and there's no panels, and your application takes up the entire screen. Um, which I quite like. It's just more space efficient. If you're watching a video where the resolution matches your monitor exactly, then you don't even have to full screen it because it's already full screen. Um, it's it's just it's nice having all that screen space. That's why I don't I don't like having a panel necessarily. But they can be useful. I can switch my I can switch workspaces with the mouse now, which is not something I could do before. It looks pretty complicated. This obviously took someone a lot of time to write. I feel like I want to play around with it. I want to try modifying one little piece of this loop to see, just to kind of experiment, see how this panel works, see if I can change some bits, you know, move some things around, add, add some features, take some things away, just to get a feel for how it works. But first, I feel like I have to get this X title thing and this clock thing to, to work so that I, I know what I'm working with here. I mean, if this script uses a binary called clock, which is provided by some Debian package, then really, that package should be either a dependency or a recommended package for BSPWM, but it's not. There's just lemon bar and um, an XDO, both of which I already have. I don't understand why you'd need a clock program when you have dates. That you could, if you need to get the time, just use the date program, surely. Build X title from source. If you're on Debian, build X title from source, says this random person on the internet. Ah, uh, yeah, this has the S and the F options. Okay, I mean, I'm on, I'm on Debian Unstable. I should have the latest version of X title, or at least a recent version. When was the last release? <laughs> it's like over a year ago. Okay, I guess I have to build X title from source. Uh, okay. Right. How do I get the build dependencies again? sudo apt build dep X title. Hmm. Some kind of XCB program that I need. Oh, this is re I'm really going down the rabbit hole now. Uh, libxcb. Oh god, I shouldn't have to do this. What is X title even used for in this script? Like, what is that supposed to do? Starts with a T. Like. Why does it have to be clock? Right, can't I just do date? Like this. What if I do that? Kill the panel. Start up again. There we go. We've got the date in the corner. I don't understand why we have this clock thing. How often does it do this loop? There's that BSPC subscribe command, which is going to be updating the bar when I use my keyboard to switch workspaces, right? There's also these like clicking actions and I don't know how they're implemented. Oh boy. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. Okay. I got my tea. I also got a sandwich and I recharged my camera. Oh wait.
that's not updated. Ooh. Maybe that's why I needed clock. I think I'm going to turn this into a while loop, so it's going to repeat. While sleep one, do date done. And all that is going to be piped into panel FIFO and it's going to be done asynchronously. Maybe that will fix it. Because the date now is 2129. Yeah, there it is. It's been updated. So we'll see in a minute if that changes to 30. Sleep one. <laughs> that's every one second, actually. Maybe that's a bit too often. Um, let's do it every 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's updated to 30. So I'm going to change that to every 30 seconds. Doesn't show up at first. Um, what if I swap the sleep and date commands? Panel. Mm, I was kind of expecting that to run date straight away. I mean, that's not too that's not too bad, is it? Just the first thirty seconds, the date doesn't show up. How do I build X title? It said something about XDB. If I try to compile it, we get XCB event dot h. Now, I don't know what package might provide that. Debian XCB event dot h. Hmm. What if I install the build dependencies for Simplex Hockey Demon? Install or build dep Simplex Hockey Demon PSPWM. Hmm. Yes. So what is that actually installed? Ah, yeah, here we go. A bunch of libxcb stuff. That's what I want. Hopefully that's enough. Let's try and make it now. Hey, there we go. And if I try to run X title, very good. Okay. If I rerun my panel command, I'm expecting to see X title up, but, but I'm not seeing. Oh, because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't install it. Um, prefix slash home slash dot local. Install it there. Okay. Now let's try rerunning my profile command. Run it again. And do we have X title? Why is that not working? I'm not seeing any X title stuff. Panel. Title. Huh. Mm. It seems to me like I'd have to repeatedly call this panel command. Oh, hang on. Let's restore the old X title command. So this dash SF changes the form, the output format, and it enables snoop mode, whatever that is. So let's try it now. Hey, hey, yes, <sighs> we're we're making progress. So now we have a date. I still don't have this clock program. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but um, yeah, we have we have the window title. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, I'm not used to having a window title. I'm used to just having no panel. So look at that. It tells me what buffer I'm in. It tells, me, it tells me my host name here. So I open the next term. It's gonna yeah. We now have pretty functional panel. It's the example one, so obviously I've not I've not tweaked it or anything. I've just got it working. It took me a long time. Um, I think a lot of that was uh, trying to get all the dependencies. It seems like the Debian package for that is just broken at this point. Hmm. But I built X title myself, the newest version, and. Now it's working. Yeah, I don't know what this clock command is, um, but I've just used my own, I've just fashioned my own little date while loop here. So it just keeps printing the date in this format. Actually, I don't like that format. I'm going to change that format. What's the format I use in Emacs? Display time format. Uh, let's just copy that over. So let's put that in there. Don't need the space after or before. Let's kill the panel and then reopen it. Okay, yeah, there's still this issue of it not actually printing the date to begin with. 
I guess I could like duplicate the command panel I vote um ooh that's not good uh let's background it there we go yeah but 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 but, but, but it's not I oh hang on is it because I think I know why panel bar clock output expects this capital letter S at the start so let's put that in there I've removed that by mistake okay trying this panel again there we go oh I think my camera's died again Dates. so I think I can probably get rid of that now there we go the font's pretty small maybe I can adjust the font so this font man I I don't no, I recognize this font specification format with all the dashes and the stars and everything. I guess this is the size. I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe it's so you can change the settings on the fly. Like while the panel is running, you can change these environment variables. Is that the idea? Okay. Um, I've broken. I've broken it. By changing the 10 to an 11. Can I change the colors maybe? And panel colors, that's where they are. Let's use CSS mode so I can read these values. Okay, these colors are not very legible, they're very low contrast. Small text doesn't help. There's a lot of colours here considering there's not much up there. Hmm. What if I just change the font to mono space? So let's try that. Uh, that has not worked. <laughs> let's see what Archwick has to say. XFT fonts. Okay, this is something I can work with. Does not support XFT fonts. Need to install. Oh, they have a different package for it over there. What kind of patches does it apply? What's. Oh, look! That's Protocilas. Personal fork of Lamavar with support for XFT. Let's clone it. Okay. And I'm missing dependencies once again. So if I just install this into my home slash dot local, uh, install, yep, let's rerun the bar, the panel, so mono space, let's try that. Oh, yes, it works. Um, is the size a bit too big, maybe? That's like, yeah. So if I change it to like mono space dash 11, let's say. We run. Okay, yeah, I think that's about right. Or is that still too big? Maybe size ten. I don't really need any of this to be coloured, to be honest. I could, it could just all be black. I mean, it would be nice if the workspaces were kind of colour coded as to whether they were occupied. But I prefer the way DWM does it, where you have the little squares, you have the little boxes next to them. I don't know if Lemon Bar can do that really. Which maybe is my cue to, to start playing with Polybar. But I think I've done enough for one day. Yeah, never before really used a panel with BSPWM. Never felt the need. Um, probably still won't, but it's nice to know that it's there. That I, I have a setup now. Uh, I really want to change this text contrast. It's this one, isn't it? So foreground should be... I guess to summarise what I did. I copied the example configuration from usr share doc bspwm examples slash panel i copied that into my path i ran the panel scripts tweak i tweaked some of the colors um, i changed the clock command the clock command to a date command that went in a loop that's still working um 
I tweaked the colors. I also compiled Protocellus's fork of Lemon Bar, which supports XFT. So I can use my Mononoke font. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I guess I just need to test whether it will actually. Well, I'm pretty sure it will, but whether it will actually start up when I log in. Well, I'll test it now. Log out. Okay, I'm back. I just logged in and my panel was there. Of course, if I made a change to the panel, then I'd have to like kill the process and restart it, but that's not too big a deal. This was a look at using Lemon Bar with BSPWM. It's, it's working. I'm happy with it. That's all. I think I'm going to go now. I'm looking into my camera like it's still on, but it's not. It died long ago. That's all. Bye now. Goodbye, Gnome. Uh, oh, I think I've locked it by mistake. Okay, it's a good start, good start. Right, I don't want to lock, I want to log out. Why is it so difficult to log out? Why is my PC now turned off? What's going on? This is not a good start.